What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again. I just wanted to update you guys with the verbals and the mounts. All right, so here we are, here's the setup. Again, don't mind the uh, wire management in the background. It's about the setup of the sticks, right? So here we are with the verbal sticks. We are not getting the um, Predator mounts. I will not be receiving those for at least a couple of weeks. So we had to recycle our old mounts and use those up. And as you can see, they work perfectly fine. We're okay with them. Um, I would prefer it to be a little bit different, but there it is. There's the setup. There's the sticks. The two dual stick verbal Constellation Prime Alphas, Alpha Primes, and, and there it is. They're beautiful, they light up. The right stick gave us a little bit of an issue um, when we were first starting it up, but it seems to be glowing and lit up and beautiful and all set up now, so awesome on that end. And now we're gonna get into Star Citizen. Look, there it is right there, Star Citizen. Let's get right into it. I'll see you guys on the other side in the game. All right, all right see guys, you there. I'm back here. And here we are in the game, and the ship of choice at the moment is going to be the arrow, because we're turning on, we're turning a new leaf in Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. Astro Manny is turning a new leaf. We're learning everything. We're starting from a crawl. We are relearning the game, and we're going to relearn it in the arrow. So the reason I say this is a new leaf, a new whole thing, is because well, one, you know, we got the new sticks. We're running the verticals, right? Next, we're doing a couple of things, okay? We're gonna be using head tracking and we're gonna get used to it. And we're gonna get used to it, yes. So we're using head tracking, we're using verbals, and we're flying decoupled mode all the time. That is the goal. It might not stay that way, but at the moment, we're gonna stay and we're gonna fly decoupled all the time and see how well we do. It means we're going to have to keep track of our velocity vector, know our speed, pay attention to relativity, and all kinds of crazy things. So new leaf, head tracking, burbles, decoupled, arrow. That's right. That's what we're doing. Super try hard mode. Let's get into it. This is test number one. I haven't even really tested these things out at all. I flew out of the hangar. That's what I did, guys. I flew out of the hangar. This is going to be test one of verbals, and I will let you know how it goes. We'll talk about it. We're in the microtech area because the last thing I was doing beforehand all this was Ghost, uh, Ghost Hollow. So, uh, what is going on? No, okay. There's the ERTs. I don't know why I was like tripping for a second. Um, we're going to do an MRT. I'm going to start with an MRT. But we're in the microtech area, so we do not have group bounties. So we only have our single bounties. Actually, we could check real quick if there was service beacons. I didn't notice if there were or not. Um, it doesn't seem like it. So we're going to do an MRT to start. We're going to start in the medium range. I feel like that's fair. Uh, you, again, we are decoupled, so we're all floating around. Uh, I, I'm going to have to take lots of time to get used to not only the new decoupling mode, for me, like full-time decoupling mode, I've used decoupling mode plenty, but full-time, full-time head tracking, and the new sticks, and the new ship. So, all kinds of new things, that is what we're doing. We're going to start off, like I said, with an MRT, and see where it goes. If you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying what we're seeing here, and uh, want to hang out more, you know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join Astro Mercenaries and hang out and uh, be a part of the gang, down in the description below is the Discord. You're always welcome to join the Discord. And all those kinds of things. So I hope to see you guys around. Let's go kill some clowns. No? Okay. <laughs> so we're in decoupled mode. And, um, which means we're automatically having cruise control. We are in the microtech area, which means we're not necessarily going to have, we're not, we don't have group bounties, so we don't always have the target location. Sometimes you have to fly to it, and that is the case here. So I took my hands completely off of the sticks. We're in decoupled mode, and it's basically cruise control. So it's just flying on its own accord, and I'm sitting here talking to you guys, and I'm chilling. 
Um, I'm gonna use my little pinky button right here to look at us in third person. Look at that. And we could change the direction of our ship, and we're still gonna be flying in that direction. I mean, I know you guys know what decouple mode does, but basically, like I said, there is. It's, it's a whole new world because unless I give the ship input, it's just going to keep going in whatever direction it's already going. So, an object that is in motion stays in motion unless a force is acted upon it. And currently, we are not applying any force to our momentum, to our trajectory, to our velocity, to our acceleration. There is no change in acceleration, there's no force. So, we are flying above uh, Cleo, which is the most beautiful moon in the whole system, in the whole Stanton system. All right. So, um, decouple mode, we can readjust our trajectory there. See, follow the velocity meter, uh, velocity vector that is in dead center of the screen at the moment. I understand that while I'm recording, it's kind of a little bit weird to see head tracking and. And I do need to get better settings for my Toby Eye Tracker. I am using Toby Eye Tracker. So, guys, if you guys know a beautiful setting for Toby Eye Tracker, do let me know. I am um, experimenting with the settings myself. I would like it to be less sensitive than it is. It is very sensitive at the moment, if you can't tell. And uh, if you guys know a really good setup, please do let me know. Uh, join in the Discord. Give me the details. And... Uh, I'll try that out but for now we're running with what we have at the moment and we're getting close to our target now so I'm gonna prepare my trigger finger I'm gonna slow us down a little bit because we are like I said in decoupled mode and uh, it's not gonna stop it unless I tell it to stop you know I am giving it no throttle right now which means it's slowing down a little bit that's because we're just barely in the atmosphere of the moon so it's being slowed down a little bit we can kind of slow down quite a bit by activating our back thrusters, keep our uh, our height, our altitude, and prepare for our first battle with our verbal sticks. Here we go. Neutralize. What is it going to be? Who the heck knows? Okay. Oh. All right. So we got ourselves an Aurora. Okay, but that's not the main target. Uh, we got ourselves a buck. That might be the main target. It's really bright down there. Speed up a little bit. But we'll go after the buck first. That's what we'll do. Well, quite a bit of bogeys. So I think the, the buck is the bogey. Is is the neutralized target. So we'll say hello to our buccaneer here. Pay attention to the velocity meter so we know where we're going. So pay attention to the relative speed of the target. Because that is mainly what you need to be paying attention to when you're here in decoupled mode. Um, uh, we're going to drop some flares. Oh, I just... Oh. That's bad. That's bad. I need to remove that button. <laughs> I just instantly hit... What? It shows offline. Um, I don't know why my shields are offline. There we go. They're online. Okay. Some technical difficulties here. Yeah, so I don't know why. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh, you know why? That's why. I'm using the wrong... See? Key bindings, guys. I'm gonna have to get used to key bindings. There we go. It's that stick that controls my power uh, systems. There's just so many hats on these things. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these sticks feel absolutely amazing. They feel tremendous. Okay. I'm so happy with the way they feel. Okay. What do we got here? We'll take out this Aurora first. Huh? A little bit of a G, G force. 
That's because, again, we're rocking the, uh, the couple mode, so we're just changing our velocity here. So here we are. We're just accelerating in this direction now. When we got an eclipse, this is exactly what I want to find in an eclipse. Throw down the boosters, watch our relative speed to the eclipse. He's getting away. We'll swap to what we got here. Another eclipse. There it is. Let me tell you how awesome that felt, guys. The control. Look at that accuracy. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Woo. Look at that. Look how smooth it is. So, before I talked about great pilots being smooth, right? You know what holds back people sometimes? <laughs> From my initial feeling of using these, I am so smooth. So smooth. It's crisp. It's buttery. It's beautiful. Watch our speed as we come into close to the ground. Drop a little bit of that. Find our velocity. Uh, oh, well, he died. There's our velocity vector. We do have another target somewhere. There he is. Look at the smoothness. Guys. Guys. The smoothness. I'm sorry. That's 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 gotta be the key point here. I feel like my aiming is out of this world. The control that I have for aiming. I don't know if it's a combination of where to do an HRT next. I don't know if it's a combination of the fact that I'm flying decoupled and the sticks and some other stuff, but the smoothness? Uncanny. I am in love with the accuracy potential. We're going to Microtech. We're going to be flying in the atmosphere of Microtech. It says I'm in couple though. Did I accidentally turn that back on, or does that get turned on when you do uh, quantum? I don't think it gets turned on when you do quantum. Quantum drive is now up. All right, so what do we got? Is this another target that doesn't have its location? Oh, well. And there's just so many buttons on this thing that I'm accidentally hitting buttons while I'm moving my thumb around. It's gonna take so much time to get used to. And that right there, that head movement is me wiping my nose. <laughs> Taking my hand off my left stick and, and, and scratching my nose. Uh, which one is it? It's Power. You gotta hit all power. Gosh, it's like I'm a noob again, guys. <laughs> That's still really far away. I'd rather find a better. And I, my keybinds and everything, like I said, it's, it's so weird. Let's see if we can get this 
guy here. And then we'll do a cut power. And finding the correct button, I'm gonna have to look at my sticks all the time to make sure that I'm on the right button. Okay, so here we go. Getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, getting closer, and cut power. Turn power back on. How close did we get? Bada bing, bada boom. 50. Not bad. Got our shields back up. Switch our power to weapons. Get our bullets back up. Switch back over to shields. And just fly here as fast as we can. And we are going to be in atmosphere, so you really got to pay attention to the velocity vector and really pay attention to the all meter. Whole new world out here, guys. The smoothness of my firing. Pay attention. Pay attention to how smooth my firing is. Just watch. It's incredible. Don't worry, we're gonna be doing live streams. Soon, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do everything. Right, what do we got? Cutting. That's what I don't want to see, but that's okay. Okay, okay. All right, uh, hurricane, of course. Target's a hurricane, we got a buck. Oh, it's just so weird. I gotta change that stick. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna be changing keybinds around. 100% 100% changing keybinds around here and there because I am all over the place okay so now we got to deal with the atmosphere let's see how the atmosphere holds up 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 change the weapons Okay on our, uh, we're okay on everything, I think. The atmosphere is fighting it. Atmosphere is fighting it. Look at that targeting, though. It's incredible. My, my buttons are so off. I might have been off too much to chew here with this, uh, with this hurricane. I might have been off too much to chew. Because I just don't have comfortableness with the sticks yet. But we did land some beautiful shots. Swap to this guy here. I'm not doing very good on power management, and I, I completely understand 
if you guys want to get me on that. But like I said, pressing my power management button is kind of weird for me at the moment. So I'm just trying to make it through the day. <laughs> Even pressing my target button is weird. So I'm going to mostly leave it in weapons power just get used to gripping my grips. <laughs> Still. And then, even using flares, I have to readjust my thumb position. It's really weird. Oh my god, he tore me alive. Couple mode, remember? So pay attention to how we're flying, where we're flying, what's flying where. Look at that absolute monstrous aim. way I'm going. We're just fighting in the clouds. This is wild. It's the other ship that's on here. It's not even a hurricane. Focusing up here, guys. Like I said, sticks, brand new, pilot, brand new. <laughs> Goodness. Shit. Controlling my powers. It's hard. So, my thought process is if my thumb is up on the buttons, I kind of lose control of being able to fly exactly the way I want to fly. Damn it! Coupled, head tracking, new sticks, new life. There it is. It 
feels tremendous. What does it feel? What? It, what? What? I this this is just night and day, guys. Night and day. The awesomeness. I mean, regular sticks, even the the, the low level thrustmaster sticks. You know they do things. You know they 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 get you somewhere. You know, but fly. I just feel so smooth, guys. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel smooth. Like everything I'm doing, I just feel like I'm in control, which. I felt like I was in control before, but now I know I'm in control. If that makes sense, smash that like button, guys. Leave a comment down below and subscribe for more decoupled, world changing, head tracking, new world fantasy awesomeness, arrow flying. Look at this control. Guys. Ah! I touched it. I kissed it. I was trying to give it a kiss. This is all third person, too. What's it look like in first person? Scarier? Let's go back to first person. It's a lot easier to kiss the ground in third person, I think. No, it's it's just still controllable. Absolutely controllable. I just feel like I'm in control through these trees up and around, swing it upside down. Well, I'm not upside down. I'm not gonna dare to go upside down yet. What? Oh, what? I feel like I didn't even hit anything there. Maybe I touched that rock, but Sorry for the scream at the end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> that. This was Astro Manning testing out verbals, and I'll tell you what. The smoothness. That is that is the one thing to note on it. The smoothness. The, the crisp. That's what I'm going to leave it at. Smooth, crisp, sexy, smooth, crispiness of awesomeness. Thank you guys so much. Again, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. There's plenty more to go. We're going to rebuild our pilot skills together, and I'll take you guys along the ride. And we'll do all kinds of cool stuff and fly all of our old ships and do all the VHRTs all over again, and we'll, and we'll get it done. And we'll do it together. We'll do some PvP and all that kind of stuff. It'll be lots of fun, guys. Thanks again. You guys know there's... Discord down in the description. Astro Mercenaries always hanging out every single day, mostly every single day. We're around. Thank you. That's enough of a ramble. You guys have a wonderful day. This is Astro Man signing off. And adios.